Hello everyone, it's Kalia. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay. If you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Kalia. Just told you that, but I just wanted to reiterate that. Um, if you're new to my channel, wait, I already said that. Um, today, I don't know why I decided to film this. I don't know, I guess I just feel like inspirational right now because I wanted to share with you guys the bucket list I made. I made this bucket list like four years ago when I was in eighth grade. So I was 14 years old and now I am 18. Um, I know I look pretty young, but trust me, I'm 18 now. And I kind of just want to go through the things that I wrote down and like talk to you guys about the things that I've checked off so far. So I've decided that this is like my life bucket list. Like, you know, I make summer bucket list, winter bucket list, fall bu blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. This is like the ultimate bucket list. Like this is everything I want to have done before I die. Without any further ado, let's jump into this bucket list. The first thing on my bucket list is to graduate from high school. I think that's impossible because I want to drop out, <laughs> but Kalia, you have to make your dreams come true, so gotta graduate from high school. I have a lot of places I want to live in. These are so like relevant to today. So the places I want to live in are California, France, New York, and Thailand. As you can tell, I was very adventurous in eighth grade. And the only one that I'm kind of iffy about is living in Thailand. Like. I feel like I would probably last there like a month or something. The next thing on my bucket list is to help with the poor. I feel like this is very important, especially since I'm very privileged. Ooh, that sounded kind of bad. You know, like we're all very privileged to not have to experience poverty like a lot of individuals in this world. So it's important to give back to like the community or just to help with those who are in need. So after that, I have gone on a cruise and I'm so happy that I got to check this off. I went on a cruise like summer going into my sophomore year, I believe. That was such an adventure. Like I have a bunch of cruise videos I posted on this channel. You can check them out when you go watch my other videos. The next one is go to Bora Bora. So Bora Bora is like an amazing beautiful island i definitely want to go check that out because it's just such like a hot spot for like travels and vacation next on here is get a vlogging camera i was able to check that off because i got like my first vlogging camera when i was like a freshman so like three years ago next is take a voiceover class that has yet to happen i don't really know if that's gonna happen honestly because kind of over that Next one is take singing lessons. Um, that's a possibility. I don't know. After that, we have get a gym membership and go to the gym. I was able to check this off because I got my first gym membership a couple months ago, like during the springtime, and I still have my gym membership, and I go there like three times a week, which, you know, can be better, but at least I'm going to the gym. Next is go skydiving. I haven't done that. Go bungee jumping. I haven't done that. Go cliff jumping. I haven't done that either. I've been meaning to go cliff jumping in so long. Like, wait, did that make sense? You know what I mean. I've been given so many opportunities to go cliff jumping and they just, I don't know. That's definitely happening this summer though. Okay, next, go on the world's fastest roller coaster. No. Go on the world's tallest roller coaster. No. Go stay in a place in the jungle. No. Go scuba diving. No, but I have gone snorkeling. I know that's like completely different, but like it's kind of like similar in a way. Be a working actress in Hollywood. <laughs> No, I don't really know if that's gonna happen to be honest because like if you know me personally You know that my dream ever since I was in fifth grade was to become an actress But like recently, I don't know. I just feel like my dreams have kind of shifted um, And it, I don't know like it makes me kind of like sad because I wanted to be an actress for so So long and now I have like all the free time in the world but I'm not really working towards becoming an actress. Like, yeah, it'd be cool to be in a movie, but like, I don't know, it's just, I just don't feel the same way I did about acting. I don't know, but I also had some kind of realization that like makes up for this, but I'm not gonna go into it because it's gonna take a while. Be fluent in French. No, but I'm like pretty, I'm pretty good at the French language and I plan to study abroad during college, like either my sophomore or junior year. So that's definitely gonna help with my French 
speaking skills and plus I want to live in France so that's gonna be even better um visit more than five countries that has yet to happen I've been to like the Bahamas I think the Caribbean I don't know if those are actually countries but yeah I'm kind of fucking dumb when it comes to like ge geographic stuff go rent a beach house and stay there with friends <coughs> Okay, that has yet to happen, but I think it's either during spring break or summer vacation. Like, my friends and I, we want to stay or we want to go to California and, like, stay there. Um, we might be staying in one of my friend's uncle's, like, house because he has, like, I think, like, a nice house in California. I feel like that will kind of count towards it. Stay in a five-star hotel. No. Get my eyebrows tinted. Yes. That has happened. Bad experience. My skin got dyed and <laughs> nothing really happened with my eyebrows, but yeah, bad experience. Never doing that again. Maybe I'll get them microbladed in the future. Get my eyelashes done. I think I meant I like eyelash extensions versus like getting my eyelashes tinted. Cause when I got them tinted, nothing fucking happened. So get a tattoo is my next one. And yes, that did happen. I got a tattoo the day after my 18th birthday. Go check out my 18th like vlogging video sort of thing. It's kind of like a vlog video, but also like kind of a movie. So yeah, go check it out. It's like one of the videos that I'm very, very proud of. And yeah, here's my tattoo. If any of you are wondering, I know it looks like weird right now. Cause like, I don't know. You have to see it from like a good angle to like really get how it looks it's like a map of the world on my forearm and then underneath it it says wanderlust which is like a super like basic tattoo i know but like i feel like it's a really good reminder for me to travel when i'm older because like life gets so busy when you're older i just feel like you forget about living your life you're more concerned about like surviving you know yeah next is get more piercings i've definitely gotten a lot more piercings since eighth grade i just had like two piercings on my earlobes but i got like my triples so i got my third one here i have my tragus pierced um and i also got my cartilage pierced definitely plan to get more my next piercing is probably going to be my industrial piercing or my belly button piercing so if any of those happen i'll be sure to like videotape it and share with you guys okay next is fall in love <laughs> yeah fuck that <laughs> probably never gonna happen some people are just destined to be alone forever and i'm sure i was destined to be alone forever next is write a book i did write a book i don't know why i didn't check this off like i wrote a book and i even published a book but let's not talk about that because it's kind of the book is very embarrassing I can just read a book on my own. So eighth grade was like the year where I started like not reading as much. Like I was feeling like a little baddie, like not doing her 30 minutes of reading every day. So I was like, oh my God, I haven't like finished a book in so long or I haven't read a book on my own. Let me write it down. And I've definitely read a book on my own since then. Yeah, because being a commercial, being a movie, being a TV show, no. Model for something, no. Spread the vegan message, yes. I remember freshman year we were having like a socratic seminar about like the food industry in america and i started talking about veganism and i was so scared like my voice was like shaking the whole time but i got like my message out there i feel like and i was able to like inform others on like veganism and how we should not eat animals so yeah that was a very like important moment in my life and how to surf is the next one that's not that hasn't happened cut my hair to my shoulders yes that happened freshman year grow my hair into my butt probably not gonna happen learn how to belly dance nope get a pet dog nope book my first acting job before i'm 20 yes i've booked a couple acting jobs actually i don't know when i check oh i, pro I probably checked this one off during spring of eighth grade yeah because i was like I was in a PSA video about like trusted coaches. It was super cool. <laughs> Link to it will be down below. Walk in downtown Minnesota. Downtown Minnesota. Okay. I've walked downtown many, many times. I go to the city so much because I love it so much. Go watch a show in Minneapolis. Yes, I've watched many shows in Minneapolis ranging from drag shows to improv shows to um, Broadway shows. Go skating at a rink. Yes, that happened sophomore year when I went skating with Olinka and Megan. Go windsurfing. Nope. Go on a hot air balloon. Nope. Well, have thousands of people watch a video or film of mine one day.
I can I can check this off. My driver's test video has 16,000 views. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna check that off in a bit because sing solo. That totally happened. Why did I not check that off? Meet Sonia Esman. That was like my idol in eighth grade. She's still like a really like cool person to follow and stuff, but I'm not like her biggest fan like I was in eighth grade, so that's probably not gonna happen. Girl centimeter with the question mark. I checked it off. <sighs> sure, okay. Do the color run, no. Run a marathon, no. Own a house, no. I don't think I'm gonna own a house until I'm like, probably like 24 or 25. Cause obviously, wait, actually maybe during college I might like own a house with like people. That'd be so cool. We'll see. Go somewhere tropical, yes. When I went on the cruise, I went somewhere tropical. Go on a road trip with a loved one. Yes. Mm, I think by loved ones, I meant like friends versus like family. My family road trips are not fun, but like friend road trips would probably be a lot more fun. Inspire people, check that off. Um, oh my God, I should sound like a sheep, okay. Okay, so I've inspired people, like, people have told me that I've inspired them to make their own videos in a way, so, like, I felt like that was, like, some sort of inspiration. Vlog more? No. Vlog more? No. Honestly, I'm not really into vlogging anymore, so probably not gonna happen. Vlogging more? I'll probably vlog more when I have, like, a bigger, like, audience, because, like, when you're a small YouTuber and you vlog your days, like, nobody really gives a f crap about your day, because... You're just another person. Buy a really nice car. Yeah, that was my first car, Stormy, but Stormy's no longer here with me because my dumbass got into a car accident. So yeah, get my driver's license at 16. Yep, that happened. I was like almost 16 and a half though, but yeah, whatever. Design clothes, no. Go kayaking, no. Go hiking, yes, that happened this summer. It was quite an experience. Almost died, no biggie. And last but not least, go stargazing. When did I go stargazing? What the heck? Oh, I remember now. I was like in my backyard, like just trying to stargaze with like my little brother. That's my life bucket list. Maybe I'll do like a close-up video for you to see this. But yeah, that's my life bucket list. Hopefully I get some of these done. If I get all of these done, like just imagine how accomplished I would feel. That's incredible. Like being able to finish the things that you wanted to when you were 14 years old. Like, that's amazing. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it inspired you in some sort of way to make your own bucket list or just to have goals or, you know, do something with your life instead of just living it day by day without really knowing like where you wanna go in life or like what you wanna do. My camera is about to die, so I need to do like a quick outro. Once again, I'm Kalia. Nice to meet you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on the craziest thing you put down on your bucket list or you plan to do in your life. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Did I say that already? I don't know. Okay, bye guys. Love you so much.